So welcome back to the Touch Designer tutorial. So for today, so we're going to switch to another component. For example, we would like to connect the Touch Designer with the Arduino. So this is the Arduino board that we are going to use as the Uno. So we start with open up the Arduino software and connect the USB cable into our Arduino board. And in the Arduino software, so you can check through from the tools and the type of board you're going to use, that the one you're going to use is the Uno. And then the next one will be the port. So the port will be the serial port going through the USB cable. And in this case, you choose the USB modem. And it's actually will indicate the Arduino Uno over here. And if you want to check, you can also click the check board info that gives you information about this particular board. And to connect this one to a touch designer, then multiple ways so the easy way is use the example and the difficult way that you can do by writing the code of yourself and we start with the easy case using the examples here for matter so the one we're going to use is the standard one, standard for matter here so once you select so this is the standard for matter pre install the code you can upload this one to the board over here so make sure you have your Uno and the proper USB modem and it starts with compiling the sketch and then uploading so after a while it's depending on the speed so it's so you done uploading so that means this piece of software will already inside this Arduino board and then we can just quit Arduino and going back to our touch designer software and as usual we can tidy up here and then create our project folder so for the first example we're going to use the LED so I just rename this project folder to test LED01 and I'm also going to include one audio file to, to have a look how we can have audio information interacting with the hardware of, from the Arduino that's the LED so I include the audio Okay, so the next step, as you have already noticed, I haven't closed this palette browser. So the Arduino or the Fermata actually resides over here under the tools with the name called Fermata. So we can just drag it over here. And if you zoom in, there will be an empty window. So when you have this one connecting with your USB cable with the parameter window over here, you can choose the port that you specify in Arduino that is the USB mode and then a series of digits. And you can reset and make it active. So once added, you can see some of the light flashing here and some information over here. And then you can also kill the information, capability, and human status. And you can also turn on the reporting for analog pins and digital pins. That two button actually allow you to so the status of the digital pin and analog pins over here when we are using it as an input that will be a must for you to turn on those okay and the next step we're going to do a 
pay with this one is to pick one LED and try to connect it to our Arduino port. And in this case, I'll connect the log of legs. So without using the back box at this moment to like pin number 11, which is then PWM pin. And also the shuttle leg go to the ground GMP. This is OK. And the next step is you can go back to your Arduino. And in the pin mode, you choose your pin 11, that is PWM. That we already insert over here. And in the pin value, you can play with the slider. And it's pretty straightforward. You can have your slider controlling the brightness of the LED as a PWM value. Okay. And in this exercise, we we'll try to incorporate the audio information and then use the audio volume to control this one. And as you notice, changing of the brightness with the slider is not that obvious unless you have a very dark environment. So what we are going to do is we just use to turn it on and off using the PWM value. So in this case, you can also go back to pin mode and pin 11, choosing output. So output will be one bit on and off. So in this case, we can just turn it on or off, off like this. And the next step is put it aside. Go to something that we have done before in the chop. We find the audio file in. And then outside touch design, we actually have to drag it here. The audio file into the audio folder. Okay, in the audio file in, we select the plus size to choose um, audio. And as usual, we can play it back with the audio device out. Okay, and then in order to have a look at the audio information, we can use Analyze. And choosing the word mean square power, there is the root value of the average of the square value of the signal, and then there will be positive always. And then we can just select one of the channels, say channel 1, turn down the volume. Next, we do a mathematical calculation to make sure the value is big enough. So the value from the sound output is 0 0.0 something, 0 0.1 something. We might want to multiply by around 10 to have a look. It's a little bit too big. 5. OK. And if you want to protect the value between uh, 0 and 1, you can always pass a limit to choose clamp and make sure it will be between 0 and 1. So the next step will be once we have this volume value, we have this light. Now we can come 
bind them together by turning on and off. So the way we can drag this to the PWM value that we can see the gradual change of light intensity. But this is not obvious as I mentioned in the What we are going to do, we can use a logic. And in logic, we can convert the input when it is outside some of the bound to turn off. So that means if we can lower volume between 0 and 0.5, that will be off. It is between 0 and 0.5, and 1, that will be on. So you hear something like this. So that will be the value we are going to change. The pin mode, that is the pin number 11 of the Arduino board. So we go to the pin value. This one, turn on the real active. And drag this one to the upper one we want, that is pin 11. And then release to the construct shop. So in this case, you see the on and off flashing according to the volume. And if you go back to your Arduino board, there will be something like this. So that is the first exercise that we're going to do with Arduino and Push Design.